<coughs> okay, so as you can see from today's title, your work's going to be on bod mass. This is what that you've done before, but it's just revising today. So we are based on page 29 and page 30 of the basic skills book. So that's the page that you're going to find your homework on. So you need to get your green apple book. Okay. So I'm going to look at some questions over here and go through those with you and then you'll be able to do the other questions for homework. Right. Let's have a look at one of the first questions. Now, <clears throat> when we look at this question here, we've got two things that have been done. We've got an adding part, and we have a multiplying part. Okay, so now which one do we do first? Do we just start here and just go all the way across? So we do 4 add 2 is 8 and then 8 times by 3 is 24. Do we do the time part first? 2 times by 3 is 6 and then you add the 4. That gives you 10. So there's two different ways of doing the question. This way is the wrong way. This way is the right way. Why, why is that? Now if you look at bod mass itself, B D M A S. Now this tells us the order in which we do calculations. Now your B stands for brackets, your D stands for division, M stands for multiplication, A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction. Now when we do maths we do them in this order. We start over here and we go down this way. So that's the most powerful thing, the but. That's first. The division is second most powerful. The multiplication is third powerful. And the addition is the fourth one. And the subtraction is the fifth one. So if you look at our original question here, we got multiplying and adding. Well, if you look over here, multiplying comes before adding. Multiplying is more powerful than adding. So we do this part first, the multiplying part. So let's have a look. So we do this part first because multiplying is more powerful than adding. So 2 times by 3 is 6. Copy the add 4 down. And then we do the add because adding comes after. So that gives you 10. And that's how I want you to set out your work like this. So you've got to select which one you can do first and second and so on. That's the first example. Second example is. Okay, so even though we read it from here to there, we don't do the question from here to here, we've got to do it in the right order. So we've got a division and an adding. Well, if we've got bottom mass, brackets, division is more powerful than adding, division is higher up, it's position number two, adding is four, so that's more powerful. So we have to do the division first. So we do 12 divided by 3, that gives you 4. After you've done the division, the next thing for us to do is adding. So 6 added 4 is, so that one also gives us an answer of 10. Okay. Let's have a look at an example with the brackets in it. Now first of all you have to understand is between a number and a bracket there's always an invisible time sign. So I'll put that in for you now. There. It's always an invisible time sign. Now, if you look at here we've got our brackets and we've got a multiply. Well brackets is more powerful than multiply, so we do the brackets first. So we do whatever's inside the bracket. Inside the bracket is 3 add 11, that'll give you 14. And after you've done the brackets, then you do the multiplying, which is there. So you do 14 times by 2. That gives you 28. Okay. You should now be able to do the questions <coughs> which I'm going to set you. 
Okay, the question numbers are going to be written in your red homework diary. So I'll write in here which question I want you to do from those two pages, page 29 and page 30. Okay? So if you need to go back through any of these examples, feel free to uh, watch the video again. Okay? So I'm going to press uh, smear. That's the end of your whole lesson.